In this video we will talk about, how to get rid of Utricaria. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we upload new videos daily. How to get rid of Utricaria. Utricaria is also commonly known as hives and it is generally a form of skin rash or allergy. The symptoms include red splotches on the face, arms, legs and genitals that start to burn and form wheels and reddish bumps all over the affected area of the skin. There are two types of hives. Acute and chronic Utricaria. In order to understand how this severe allergy can be avoided, it is important to learn about the disease itself. Acute Utricaria. The size of these red welts or blotches on the skin may vary from a few millimeters to inches or the size of a fist. Utricaria can affect any part of the body and the span of this rash or allergy can be 24 hours and sometimes it could be more if the skin is sensitive or proper measures are not taken to prevent it. Chronic Utricaria Chronic utricaria is a term used to describe hives which last longer than six weeks. This rash is very rare and one in every 1,000 people develops this rash at some point of their life. Women are more prone to it as compared to men. This kind of rash lasts for months with dormant periods in between. It is not triggered by external factors like environment or climate but food products like caffeine and alcohol along with extreme emotional stress and prolonged pressure on the skin caused by tight cloths and painkillers are some major contributors. Many diseases like HIV or other autoimmune diseases also cause hives. Proper medicine prescribed by the doctor is the best way to deal with it. What is the root cause that triggers acute utricaria? Any trigger, external or internal can lead to excessive release of the chemical, histamine in the skin which cause the blood fluid to leak from the blood vessels and spread under the skin to create wheels. The blood vessels dilate around the wheels and lead to flares on the surface of the skin. The trigger can be anything from an air pollutant or food like peanut, sushi, dairy products, shellfish and many others. Allergic reaction to medicines reaction of skin to external environment like chemicals, rain, dust particles etc. Stress and pressure of work, emotions and feelings, infections that are caused by other diseases, animals and insects also take a huge part in triggering it. Sometimes animals' saliva and insect bites are major participants. What to do if you have even the slightest suspicion that your allergy might be hives? There are many allergies that occur due to various reasons that could be environmental or climatic, but when you see an allergy starting and you suspect that it is utricaria, then the first step you should do is to take a shower and change your clothes. The shower will help you get rid of all the germs or triggers of allergy that might still be adhering to your skin while changing clothes will also protect you from further spreading it to other body parts through contact. What should the person do when diagnosed with utricaria? The triggers occur in two forms that are found in cold environment and warm environment. When a person gets infected with this form of allergy in a cold environment then to stop its spread to other areas of the body you should use warm water for treatment on the infected area. Similarly when the infection occurs on the skin in warm environment then it is better to wash it and treat it with cold water and ice. These kinds of hot and cold treatment will not only stop further spread of the disease, but will also help decrease the itching and uncomfortable feeling. What are the home's remedies that can help you get rid of utricaria? There are many cures for this allergy and some of them might seem awkward to you, but many of them are really effective because of natural active ingredients that are present in them. Oatmeal is one of the best and readily accessible forms of home remedies.
Try to find oatmeal that is found in powdered form so that it can dissolve in water easily and take a bath in oatmeal mixture for about 30 minutes. Oatmeal works great for dry and rough skin by soothing the inflamed areas. It also heals the skin really fast and removes dirt and debris from it. Fish skin oil is another effective solution and it has no side effects whatsoever. This oil is available in the form of capsules and is rich in omega-3 and vitamin E which are known for their healing properties. Baking soda and apple vinegar are also very helpful. Some hives are acidic in nature so to apply something basic on it like the paste of baking soda will stop the allergy immediately. Similarly some forms of eutricaria are alkaline in nature and baking soda will not help in such cases. So apple vinegar is the best option as it will neutralize it. Natural green tea is used by people who get hives caused by emotional stress and work anxiety. Tea leaves contain antioxidants which remove free radicals and disease causing agents in the blood. Thus. Green tea is a great deterrent towards skin inflammatory diseases like hives. Antihistamines is an effective drug treatment for eutricaria. Histamine is the main trigger of eutricaria so antihistamines are used in different forms to counteract the rising levels of histamine in patients who suffer from hives. Common antihistamines occur in the form of tablets, eye drops, nasal sprays, capsules and liquids. These may be over-the-counter, OTC, drugs or prescription, drugs. Common OTC antihistamines are listed below. Number 1. Diphenhydramine brand name, Benadryl. Number 2. Bromphenyramine brand name, Dimetane. Number 3. Clemistine brand name, Tavist. Number 4. Chlorpheniramine brand name, Chlortrimton. Number 5. Fexofenidine brand name, Allegra. Number 6. Loratadine brand names, Claritin, Alivert. Number 7. Sertirazine brand name, Zyrtec. Precautionary measures. The best a person can do to get rid of hives is to be fully aware of their allergies, what triggers them and what not to eat so that there is no chance of risking it. A person who suffers from the chronic form of this disease should avoid all stress markers and catalysts that can trigger the allergy. If you take such preventive measures then you can surely avoid it. I hope you found some useful information and tips. I look forward to hearing from you. Warning! None of the information on our videos is a substitute for a diagnosis and treatment by your health professional.